Hello there! <laughs> so my name is Leanne, I'm on the Brand Design Subcommittee for Mental Health Society this year and let me be the first to say welcome to our brand new weekly vlog! Woohoo! Quick little tea review time. This is my favourite tea. It is from Lidl and it's like really cheap and it's raspberry tea so 10 out of 10 would recommend uh, that you get it. So this is our first time doing a weekly vlog on the Mental Health Society. Um, of course, this week we have just launched our brand new shiny vlog. Uh, so if you haven't seen that already, do go over, have a look, it looks amazing. And we're also launching a podcast as well for the Society. So blog, vlog, podcast, you've got so much stuff to look out for this semester with the society, so do be excited. So the whole aim of this weekly vlog is that you will see a different committee or society member on the vlog every week, so don't worry, it's not gonna be me all the time. Just having a casual little chat about like all things mental health, maybe about people's personal experiences or some like tips to look after your mental health and just breaking down that stigma and stuff like that. And just knowing that there is, it is okay to talk about mental health and that there always will be a platform to talk about it as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what it's about. I just want to have a little chat, like because obviously we are back into the semester again. Uh, I'm in my final semester, final year. Yay! Semester two, generally, I have found that it is the more hectic of the two semesters. For example, la just last night, um, I was just thinking about everything that I have to do um, over the next couple of weeks in terms of obviously coursework, um, outside work, like with my jobs and stuff like that, and just like just everything and everywhere that I have to go. And I got very overwhelmed by it all. Um, and I would usually be a person who just literally, I take everything my stride, like I don't let anything phase me. If I know that I have to do something, I'm like, oh, it's fine, like I'm gonna get it done eventually and I just don't let anything worry me. But last night, I don't know, it was all just a bit too much. And I was like, oh my God, this like is not like me to get, you know, this boggled by everything that I have to do because I know so many older people are in the same boat like a lot of my friends and just like even probably you watching this now you're kind of being like oh my god like it's a new semester like I have to feel like I have everything together because I do like to think that you know I'm always on top of my stuff but then there's moments where I actually feel like I'm not and it does get me down because I'm like, no, I'm not this person, like whatever. Um, so I suppose I would just like to talk about that and just about a few things that I do to kind of make sure that, you know, I keep my mind pretty, you know, happy and pretty clear and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna drink my tea now. I think it's cooled down enough. Yeah, it's okay. So good though. <laughs> the first thing I did, which is usually the first thing I do with anything that's on my mind or anything that I just feel like I need to talk about, is I rang my mom. Now, my mom is a great person, like she has all the answers for everything as well, but it's not even about like having all the answers and stuff like that. It was just, I rang her because I literally had to get it out of my head and just out of my body and just get it out into the open kind of thing being like okay this is actually how I'm feeling because I feel like once I talk to my mom or if you like have you know even a close friend or something like that or a family member or anyone you know that you trust enough and when you talk to them about something that's inside you like that it just almost it feels like you're literally like unraveling it from your head what I would say is just make sure that you have somebody in your life that you're able just to talk about stuff not even talk but like even sometimes all you need to do is just vent like just to have someone listening then I made a list now I love this like I love once everything had come out into the open and I was like, I can finally face myself and be like, okay, this is what I have to do now over the next two weeks. Um, got a little notepad for myself and literally just make a little list of everything I have to do. And just so, again, 
very similar to the last point like that it was just out of my head and it looked a lot clearer on paper and um, so just make a list of things that you want to do or you know ways that you're feeling or something like that lists are just a great way to get your head in order so yes make a list then if you haven't got one already i can't even like recommend it highly enough get yourself a diary okay i i owe my life to this diary or like any year diary that i get like i have in all my lectures i have like times I'm in work, times that I am in radio, times that I have meetings and stuff like that. And it's again, very much like the list is just bullet point by bullet point down like that. A diary is probably the best thing that you can get, I, <laughs> I'm gonna say. So I think that's kind of what I wanted to put across in this week's video. So yeah, I hope that like some of this, that you enjoyed the video first, um, but that some of this kind of resonated with you as well. And get that diary, I swear, it's actually gonna be the best thing that you buy. Um, so yeah, that was our first Mental Health Society teen chats uh, with me. Next week, it is going to be a different committee member, so you'll be meeting someone new every single week. Head over, follow us on all our social media and stuff so that you can keep up to date with all our amazing events that go on throughout the semester, because we will have a lot that obviously, you know, everything that we do is going towards helping people improve their mental health and just, basically looking after yourself so we've got like hangover hope on Wednesdays and stuff like that cracking up is coming up in the next couple of weeks too so make sure to keep an eye out for that because that's gonna be so much fun um so we've loads going on loads 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 um so yeah and if you do want to be a part of the mental health society weekly vlogs you can get in touch with me just give me a message on Facebook or whatever and yeah thank you so much everyone for having me and We'll see you at one of our events, or maybe on another vlog, or maybe on the podcast, or the blog. Who knows? It's a wild time. But anyways, bye everyone.